is James with uh, a tutorial on how to make your letters or words uh, round. Uh, for example, for a round logo, a round seal, uh, something like that. So I know on Shortcuts a lot Pro 3, um, a lot of people have some problems with that. And uh, hopefully today we solve that and get you on your way to using Shortcuts a lot Pro 3. Um, again, this is James with uh, Custom Vinyl Signs. And uh, <clears throat> I hope you guys liked the tutorial. And, uh, you know, you guys can leave some feedback, comments, anything like that. And please hit that subscribe button. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, right now, the first thing I'm going to do is uh, go into my shapes. And I'm going to go ahead and create uh, the logo that we're going for. Uh, the first thing I'm doing is taking the, the color out. This way it's just flat. And I'm going to go ahead and align that. And the way you align it is go right here to this uh, align button. Um, I'm going to go ahead and create another circle. And I want it to fit inside, so it's going to be sort of like our border. So I'm going to go ahead and align that. And I'm going to go ahead and take that color out. And I'm going to go ahead and click the whole thing. And I'm going to group it. This way, uh, when I move the whole uh, thing, it's not one of these circles moving. The whole thing would move. So now that I have my outside of my logo, <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and start making uh, my letters. So I'm going to make another circle. And I want the circle to fit inside where my, my letters will be roughly, um, how they're, how they're going to go inside. So once I do that, you're going to want to make two of these. You want to copy, and you're going to want to paste. So they're both the same size, because we're going to have the letters going up, and uh, the other letters going down. And you don't want them different sizes and messing with it and stuff like that, because it's just going to get a little hairy. So if you make two of them, um, it's going to be pretty easy. You cannot do letters on top and letters on bottom on the same circle. That's why we're doing two circles. So with the first circle, I'm going to go up to text and I'm going to hold it down and I'm going to come down to type on path tool. Immediately, I'm going to go to path and I'm going to go to reverse path. So what that's going to do is it's going to allow me to text going down. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and start writing the word. records. So now that we got that written, that's the actual font I want. So I'm going to go now to my arrow key and I'm going to make sure that this is clicked and I'm going to come all the way over here and I want to size it. So I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. I'm going to go ahead and I'm not going to mess with the width, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and track it so my letters are not touching each other. As you can see, they're touching right there. So I'm going to go down to my tracking and make it where they're not going to touch each other. And then I'm going to come down here and I'm going to bring it down in the general area I want it. And I'm going to hit the offset a little bit uh, just to make it float a little bit. And I'm going to go with the, uh, uh, the rotate down here to make sure that they, they line up onto the line. So I believe um, that's pretty perfect where I want the, the records to stay. So now what I'm going to do with this is uh, obviously we got to turn this into a text, a text now because it's a circle with uh, the word records on there and we can't just, um, if we move it in there, it's going to have a circle around it the whole time. So the next thing, once you got everything aligned, you got your, your letters and your, and your word looking good, uh, you're going to go up to, uh, you're going to make sure that this is selected. You're going to go up to text 
and we're going to convert this uh, text to an outline. And when we hit that button, what it's going to do is it's going to get rid of that circle. So now we're just stuck with the words. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the words in here, and I'm going to get it aligned. And now we already have a beginning of a logo um, with the words curved with our circle logo. Next, we're going to go ahead and select the other uh, circle, and we're just going to go to text, type on the path tool, and we're not going to do anything else up there because we want it on top now. So I'm going to go ahead and make up, this is a made up logo, so it's not for someone. Uh, I'm just making it up as we go. So I'm going to go ahead and type what I want it to say. So I want it to say, Smash Mouth Records. So now I'm going to go back to my uh, arrow key, and we're going to get this set onto the uh, uh, circle correctly. I'm going to bring the tracking in just a little bit, fit it onto uh, the circle. with the, uh, the rotate down here, how it slams right on top of the circle so everything's flat. We don't have an A floating, an M that was off earlier, uh, things like that. Now what I can do is make sure to put it where I want. And I'm eyeballing it. I'm seeing that the H is on this line, and I want the S on this line. So that means it's, it's, it's perfect. So we want to make sure it's selected. And we're going to go back to text again, and we're going to convert. And we have uh, the other word, bowed in, in the top form. So we're going to go up here, and you're going to notice that it doesn't fit. And that's okay. Um, don't freak out. You're probably wondering, well, it's the same size circle, so how come? So what we're going to do <clears throat> is we're going to grab this. And uh, before I touch this, I'm going to hold the Shift key. And then I'm going to bring it in a little bit. Then I'm going to go ahead and measure it again, and I'm going to do it again until I get it where I want it. Sorry, it's taking the circle. And then I can move this. For some reason, it's taking the circle. So what we're going to do is the circle keeps moving, and uh, that happens. It's it's normal. So we're going to go up to uh, Object, and the circle's highlighted, so we're actually going to lock it. So now I can move this and not worry about that circle moving on me. And then I'm going to go ahead and uh, center it where it should be, and uh, it's looking pretty good. So the first thing I want to do now is I want to go back to objects since I got everything done and I want to unlock that. Because if you keep it locked, <clears throat> when you're done with your logo, what's going to happen is you're going to try to move the whole thing and everything's going to move except the locked pieces that you just did. So now that it's unlocked, uh, everything will move once I group it together. But I'm not finished yet. I'm, I'm going to continue to uh, uh, work on the logo. Uh, I'm going to find a, an image. Whoops, I didn't mean to blow that up. We're going to drag it in here. And we're going to move this away from our logo. And we're going to convert this into lines. That looks good. Pretty simple. Let me go ahead and get this color off. So now we have the, the lines that we created. And we're going to get rid of by hitting the delete button. Once we uh, click this, we're going to hit the delete button. And that's gone. So obviously this doesn't fit in there, so we need to go ahead and size it up. Still a little too large, so we're just going to bring it down in size, and I'm going to give this a I'm going to give this a tilt, and then I'm going to go ahead and center it. And I think the logo still needs a little something, so I'm going to come over here to my uh, uh, shapes. I'm going to find something kind of cool. 
I'm going to grab the shape and um, I'm going to size it to the size I want it in there. And once I do that, I'm going to go ahead and click and copy it. And then I'm going to click and paste it. So I have two that are exactly the same size. And I'm going to go ahead and put this right there. And I'm going to go ahead and put this one right there. And I'm going to take that color out. The color always bugs me when they, they put colors in there automatically. And we know everything's pretty pretty much aligned. Uh, the top of the star is at, at this square. Same with that. And uh, let me scoot it over just a little bit. And right now you have created a logo. So what we do is we grab the whole logo, we go up to object, and now we group it together. And it's grouped together. This is what would happen if we did not group it together. I would grab the whole thing, oh, excuse me, and I would try moving it. Well, it would make sense if I ungrouped it, wouldn't it? So let's break it apart. So if I started grabbing it, certain things would start coming out and it wouldn't work. So that's why when you get your logo done, you want to group it together. And as it's grouped, now you can move the whole logo. And uh, another thing I want to tell you guys about when you're when you're creating a logo or uh, or doing your your uh, your round letters and things like that, don't worry about size. Size comes at the end. If you start worrying about size right away, um, you're just going to fill your head with confusion. Um, as you saw, I did not do anything with size on this. I simply got the logo done. Now I can go over here. And I can say, well, the customer wanted an 18 inch round logo. So now I can go over here and type in 18. And the logo is 18 inches. So never worry about size as you're doing all this. Just, just work in a size area that you're comfortable with. And you could blow it up or, or make it as small as you want at the end. And uh, I, I try to stress that to everyone. Don't worry about size right away when you're building. Um, a logo, a, a, an item that has a bunch of, um, a design that has a bunch of stuff that you're putting together. Do that at the end. Just make it big enough where you can see what you're doing, you know what you're doing, and then you can, you can get that last detail of what they wanted at the end because it'll go any size. So I hope you enjoyed the, the quick tutorial on how to make uh, letters or words uh, bend. And if you have any questions, again, you can, you can easily leave comments uh, below. And if uh, you like this tutorial, please subscribe. So I'm going to be working a lot with videos. Um, this is a vinyl decal channel on how to learn and, uh, and things like that. So uh, you're going to see many videos coming up um, on just short little videos, how to, how to do things, and you're going to see longer videos how to create something. If you have any ideas of something you'd love to see done, um, go ahead and message me off YouTube, and uh, I'll be more than happy to take a look at that and, and maybe make a show out of it. So, uh, again, thank you very much, and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. So you guys have a good one.